hello viewers welcome back to back math and today's lesson we'll be looking at how to calculate gp and so if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe for more updates let's get started but before we move to gpa calculation let's look at the brief meaning of gpa and so gpa is an acronym for grade point average grade point average gpa can only be computed per semester and so the final results we see in our portal after several computation and manipulation that final result becomes a grade point average for that particular semester and so the results we get in level 100 first semester that final result in level 100 first semester becomes a grade point average so as to the final results we get in level 200 second semester it can also be classified as a grade point average and so it's done on semester basis so gpa is the ratio of the total grade points to the total credit hours per semester and so to calculate the gpa for a particular semester we have to sum all the grade points and divide by the summation of all the credit hours for that particular semester so mathematically we can say that gpa is equal to total grade point divided by total credit hours the total he means that we are going to sum all the grade points and then the total credit hours means that we are going to sum all the credit hours and later we are going to find their ratio so that is how we calculate a GPA for a particular semester. Now let's have a practical look of how to do it. And so let's assume this is the result for a particular student in level 100 first semester. And we can see on our far left hand side that the course code follows to the credit hours to the grade and then the last one the grade point. Now under the course code we have math 101 echo 101 cms 101 its 101 asp 137a and phy 101 now to each course there is a respective credit hours and we can see that math 101 is a third credit hour course echo 101 is a third credit hour course cms 101 is a third credit hour course ITS 101 is a one credit hour course, ESP 137A is a three credit hour course, PHY 101 is also a three credit hour course. Now we can see under the grade that MAT 101, the person had a grade of A, ECO 101, the person had a grade of A, CMS 101, the person had a grade of B, ITS 101, the person had a grade of A. ASP 137A, the person had a grade of B, and PHY 101, the person had a grade of A. E. And so we want to find the grade point. So to find the grade point for MAT 101, we are going to multiply the numerical value that is assigned to the grade A, and we know that to be 4.0 by the credit hours. And so MAT 101 is a three credit hour course. So to get the grade point for MAT 101, just multiply 4 by 3. We know 4 is coming from A, that is the numerical value assigned to A, and the 3 is coming from the 3 credit hour. So 4 times 3 gives us 12. And so we can base on this and say that if a course is a 3 credit hour course, and you get A in your portal, or A at the end of the semester, it means you are going to get a grade point for that particular semester to be 12.0 and so when we look at echo 101 it's a three credit hour course and the person had a so the numerical value assigned to a is 4.0 so now the grade point becomes the 4.0 times the number of credit hours that is 3 and so we have 4 times 3 to be equal to 12.0 when we come to cms 101 the person had B plus. We know that the numerical value assigned to B plus is 3.5. So to get the grade point for CMS 101, we are going to multiply 3.5 by the number of credit hours, that is 3. And so 3.5 times 3 
is equal to 10.5. That becomes the grid point for CMS 101. When we come to ITS 101, it's a one credit hour course and the person had A. But we know the numerical value assigned to A is 4. And then to get a grid point for ITS 101, we are just going to multiply the grid point. Sorry, you are just going to multiply the numerical value assigned to A by the number of credit hours. So that is 4 times 1, that is 4.0. Now when we look at ASP 137A, it's a 3 credit hour course. And the person had a grid of B. And so to get a grid point for ASP 137A, we are just going to multiply the credit hour by the numerical value assigned to B, that is 3. And so 3 times 3 gives us 9.0. Now the last one, that is also a 3 credit hour course, and the person had A, and so A has a numerical value of 4.0 or 4. So we see 4 times 3 gives us 12.0. Remember, the formula for calculating GPA says that the total grade point divided by the total credit hours, and so we have to find the summation of all the grade points, and that is 12 plus 12 plus 10.5 plus 4 plus 9 and plus 12 and that is 59.5 and then we come to the credit hours that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 and plus 3 and that is 16 and so to calculate the gp for this particular student in level 100 first semester we are first going to code the formula and the formula is the total grade point divided by the total credit hours but we know the total grade point to be equal to 59.5 as we saw in the person's results and then the total grade credit hours to be 16 as we saw and so the gp for that particular student in level 100 first semester is now equal to the total grade point that is 59.5 divided by the total credit hours that is 16 so the GP is now 3.7188. So to four decimal places, the person had a GP of 3.7188. And so it follows the same procedure. So if you want to find the GP for a semester in your year of study, just find the total grade points and divide by the total credit hours. And definitely you are going to get your GP. So this ends the set of statements or videos for today. So thanks for watching. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you in our next video. Bakumat, thinking beyond infinity.